We are back at BBVA Compa Stadium tonight where the TSU Tigers pitched a shutout. They knocked off Mississippi Valley State final score 31-0. And as you can see, some happy Tigers down there celebrating with the fans and head coach Michael Haywood. That's the big thing about this game. Michael Haywood in his first season as head coach of the TSU Tigers comes away with his first win tonight, and it is a shutout. Yeah, in the season opener. So thrills all around for the TSU faithful tonight. A couple of tough losses to begin the season with Prairie View and Houston Baptist. They talked all the week about being resilient, having more focus, playing with more energy in the first quarter out of the locker room and the third quarter out of the locker room. We saw that on full display here tonight. He came out, he wanted to see more emotion from his team tonight. I'm talking about Coach Haywood. He did not like the way his team responded after the halftime in a couple of those first two games. And he wanted to see them come out and be more aggressive. And I think he saw that tonight. Yeah, absolutely. You saw that right out of the locker room, 14 quick points coming out of the break and then coming out of halftime, another score. And the defense was, what can we say? They were phenomenal all night long, getting in the backfield against Austin Bray, making his life very uncomfortable, doing a tremendous this job in the secondary and that defensive front shutting down the running game of Mississippi Valley. Let's take a look at some action from the first half. Now we will show you how they got there and how they did it. The TSU Tigers coming out tonight with a vengeance. Avion Hurts making it happen. Fires one deep down the sideline. Larry Clark the third with a great diving catch. Nice shot to see Larry Clark getting involved. And then it's the defense. The pass is tipped. And Dondre Dobbins comes up with the interception. And he makes a nice return to put the offense in great field position. And after that, Avion Hurts just kept cranking it downfield. That time, though, his pass is intercepted by Tony. Tony had been burned a lot earlier in the game. He came up with that big defensive play. And then again, Hurts making it happen with his legs. Yeah, he's tremendous. He was doing all around game tonight through the air and on the ground. Nearly 300 yards of total offense for Hurts. You see the big play downfield here and then here across the middle. Tony Upchurch, Upchurch getting into the end zone for six. That defense tonight, tremendous. A pick here late in the ball game. Texas Southern all over the field. The offense, the defense, the special teams had a great game as well. Everyone getting into the action tonight. 31 0. Let's go down to Nick Strong and Coach Mike. I'm here with Haywood. head coach, Coach Haywood. Coach, the defense went into the locker room, pitching a shutout at half. After the game was over, it was still a shutout. Talk about your defense. Well, I think the defense did really well. The adjustments to some second half coverages that we put in. A little cut defense, did a nice job against the run. The important thing is that we got a lot of young guys that have an opportunity to play. With those young guys in there playing now, they have some gain experience, and they'll be ready to play next week as well. Coach Avron Hurts went the whole game tonight, looked good on the offensive side of the football. He did a really nice job in the no huddle. We adapted really well to it. Did a nice job in checking and making sure. We only had one really bad pass protection when we checked to a, a slide protection. They brought two off the edge and hit him. But outside of that, this protection was pretty solid on the night. Coach, going into next week against Alabama State, what are the expectations? Hey, well, we have to go in and correct the mistakes in which we've made this week. We have to look at their special teams and see how we can attack them because we were pretty bland tonight because of the complexity in, in which uh, was caused by the opponent. However, offensively and defensively, we've got to be able to run the ball better, and we're going to have to be able to stop the run as well. Coach, congrats on your first win. Tell the fans how it feels. Hey, thank you very much. feels awesome, and thank the fans for coming out. We appreciate them. Thanks a lot. Good, coach. Good luck the rest of the way, Coach. All right. Back to you guys up top. Okay, on defense for the Tigers, Sean Jones, 10 tackles and a sack. So he was the defensive player. But on offense, the player of the game would have to be Avion Hurts. Uh, he had a tremendous ball game tonight. Two touchdown passes. Did a tremendous job rushing the football as well. Had total control of the offense tonight. Didn't make any mistakes. He had complete control. And as Coach mentioned, the no-huddle offense really allowed him to survey the field, point out the middle linebacker, get his offensive line in proper protection and help him make the make the great reads downfield like on this throw here to Austin Watts. He had 11 carries for 50 yards rushing and passing 15 to 24 one pick for 273 yards but more importantly he passed for three touchdowns tonight. Yeah absolutely that's what you want to see in the stat sheet 
three touchdowns, the one interception, you'll take that seven days a week. Coach wanted to see him get a better grasp of the offense, and I think we, we saw him do that tonight. Ken, it's been a lot of fun. Been great working with Absolutely. you tonight. The TSU Tigers come away with a 30 nothing, 31 nothing shutout of Mississippi Valley State. That will do it for us. I'm Butch Alcidore along with Ken Moore. Be safe and have a good night.